Hey guys, it's Mario here and in this video it's time to answer the question why some people never get fat. And typically when I get asked this question it comes with a little bit of envy, a little bit of jealousy, a little bit of anger sometimes because we all know those people, you know, sometimes we just see they can eat whatever they want and they eat a lot of junk food, they overeat calories, we know they overeat calories but they just don't seem to gain any fat and their body seem to burn off. You know, there's some kind of resistance toward gaining fat. And I know for myself, it's not like that. If I eat in a calorie surplus, I'm gonna store that as fat. If I'm training, I might build a little bit of muscle, but that is all going to fat if I overeat continually. And what is happening here? How much do genetics play a role? And when we look at the research, there's been a really good research study from 1990 done by Claude Bouchard, where he took identical twins. So basically they took they found 12 pairs of identical twins, so 24 guys, age about 21, and they wanted to see what happens if we overfeed twins. So some of them, of course, have the same genetics, but between the pairs, there's different genetics. So they overfed them for 84 days, so almost three months of 1,000 calorie extra per day. And the results of the study were absolutely fascinating. So some of them on the lower end gained only nine pounds, while on the higher end of the gaining, some of them gained up to 30 pounds. So there was a huge difference between how some people were just more resistant, some groups of twins were more resistant. So certain pairs just didn't gain as much body fat, while others just stored a lot more of that. And between the twins themselves, there wasn't much difference. So it basically kind of proves that though that type of genetics is more resistant toward fat gain, while between the pairs, of course, there was a huge difference. Not only in the amount of fat that they gained, but also the placement of the fat, because some of them just gained in the areas that are not very favorable. Certain just went to abdominal areas, visceral fat, I mean, places that are stubborn, you know. So this kind of proves that genetics play a huge role when it comes to overfeeding and fat gain. So, I mean, in our today environment, of course, overfeeding is one thing that we're battling because of this abundance of food. And if you do say, well, you want the genetic lottery so you can uh, cope with the environment a little bit better, I mean, you can't really say that it could be an excuse for some people not to take care of their food choices, but what are you gonna do, right? If you haven't won the quote-unquote genetic lottery, you actually have to take care of yourself and, and be mindful of the amount of calories you're eating because according to at least this research study, and there's plenty of others how some people can just quote-unquote burn it off if you look at the studies on non-exercise activity thermogenesis, which is probably the cause of some people being able to handle this large amount of calories because they just start fidgeting more, moving around more, more of that unconscious type of activity because even in this identical twin study, I mean, all the other factors were similar, right? The BMR was similar, the um, thermic effect of food was similar, the same amount of calories coming in, the physical activity was similar, so it really leaves only the non-exercise activity thermogenesis which comes out at unconscious activity and not just uh, fidgeting and things like that, but also how much your organs spend and all these other factors which um, is really not under your influence. So the bottom line here is that there are people that have the <laughs> genetics that just doesn't let them store as much fat and in the end you can really blame your, I don't know, your parents, you can blame your genetic line or whatever you want to do or you can actually take control of this and apply yourself and learn how much calories you are eating, what's your maintenance, you can track it for a while, see how much calories are in certain foods, in certain meals. You can take control of this. And really, not having the genetics is a very poor excuse for not taking action. I see people like this all the time. They're like, oh, my friends can eat whatever I want, so I'm gonna eat whatever I want. But dude, like the effects aren't the same. You know, someone might be eating twice as much as you do and they can barely store any fat. So look what your body is responding to. Learn what your body works like and that's something that I really want to emphasize here a lot is that focus on your own journey like don't pay attention to what someone else is doing because it doesn't apply to you and often when I see uh, guys promoting oh this worked for me or this worked like and this is should be working for everybody that's not really the case because we can see that not only genetics but even your environment where you grew up in and your healthy or unhealthy habits, all of that plays a role. So really look at your environment, really look at things that you can control and then apply yourself, be proactive and focus on that circle of influence and there you can find a way to make it work. And guys like, usually what I see actually is that guys who have the genetic lottery, I guess, have won the genetic lottery, 
they're typically not in the best shape, you know, because they just find it easy. So they don't hustle as much. While for the guys that actually have poor genetics, they outwork everybody else by 20 to 100 times and they actually get really, really good results because they put in so much work. So you can actually outwork genetics to a very, very good extent so you can look amazing and it's really not an excuse for you not to have a six pack, not to have a great looking body. So if you're looking for excuses, I mean, you're not gonna find them on this channel. So apply yourself, figure out how your body works, figure out your calories, figure out your macros, eat that protein, get to the gym, exercise, build strength, build muscle, and you will look great. So hope you enjoyed. Let me know in the comments below if you find this interesting as well as what do you think about your genetics? Are your genetics, are you blessed or do you feel like you're cursed? Let me know in the comments below. Aside from that, make sure to hit that subscribe button below to support the channel and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.